Sing us a song on the piano, man. Sing us a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for a felony. And I'd like to use my new knife. Alright guys, Microtech. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> uh, Microtech, Tacky on 3, review coming at you as soon as I take a drink. God damn. Oh, wow. That is amazingly smooth. Delish. Very good. All right, guys. So, uh, one thing about, yes, I'm about to chaplain. You're all about to sit here and watch this. See, I lost control. When I chaplain with my Alpha Beast, I lost control again. Sorry. One thing about the Tachyon, the Tachyon 3, is the blade is heavier than the handles. So it doesn't, uh, when you try to chaplain... The, the front handle just gives way. It just fucking lets out all of a sudden. I mean, you can do like two or three or four, but it just... That is like the one drawback of the Tachyon 3. Um, I absolutely... Well, the other is, um, especially those who are collectors... Um, the other is, is this Cerakoted, uh, finish that's on it. Um, it chips very easily. And when you make a scratch, especially with this black coating, it stands out like a sore fucking thumb. So I love flipping this thing. Um, there's more that I love about this knife than I hate about it. And it's, it's the clack. It's just a beautiful sound. I mean, it just, son of a bitch. Uh, it's hard for me to keep this in focus. I got to hold this thing up with my hand. But um, it's a super, super light knife. I mean, it is it is fantastic for twirling. Uh, it's great for fanning. Um, the edges up top, they, they did this perfectly. So, the edges up top are squared. You see that? For a better grip during fanning. But as you go down, you'll notice that it rounds out. So, for manipulations, uh, that is, it is a very, very pleasing knife to flip. Um, the serrations, I didn't really, when I was looking to buy one of these, I didn't really care about the serrations, but this is like permanently going to stay sharp. That's what serrations do, they stay sharp for fucking ever. Um, and it also... I mean, you know, I, I, I get cut a lot, guys. That happens all the fucking time. I'm not worried about it. Tachyon 3. It's Bowler M390 steel. Right above the tank pin. Um, my very first Tachyon 3 that I got. Sorry, I got a phone call. Um, so... <clears throat> The first Tachyon 3 that I got, I was worried about the uh, handles being made out of aluminum because this is tang pin construction. And I did not know how tang pins would function on an aluminum handle. Aluminum is a very um, easy, easy metal to bend and stuff. So, you know, after time, after 
you know, long-term use of this, I didn't know how well the handles were going to stick together. And the entire year that I owned the original apocalyptic finish without the serrations, I, I never had a problem with it whatsoever. I never got any more play than what comes with it. These things, they run on ball bearings. They're super smooth, but they're not as quick. They're, they're not as fast as uh, it, when, when you're flipping this. It's not like flipping an Alpha Beast or something that w runs on washers. It's uh, It's more like... It, it, it flips the same. It flips, you know, I mean, but it's just a little bit, it's like it's a little bit slower, maybe. I don't know. It, it, but like your response time, when you're flipping, when you're doing thumb rollovers with like an alpha beast, I don't even know if that's in frame. Probably not. When you're doing thumb rollovers with an alpha beast, the response time is immediate. When you're doing it with the Microtech Tachyon 3, it's almost like you got to wait a minute. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I mean, it, it flips smooth as hell, but it's like there's enough resistance in it that there's just hesitation, in my opinion. But, uh... I did buy this used from somebody who never flipped it. He was a collector. And I got a, a fucking fantastic deal on these. Um, back in its day when these things were in production, they weren't... A lot of people had bought them and a lot of people just catch and release, catch and release. Sold it right back on Facebook or forums or whatever. And uh, part of that reason is because... At the time, it wasn't really a desirable flipper. BRS had the Replicant. They had the uh, Alpha Beast. Um, I don't believe they had the Bare Bones yet. But uh, there were so many other flippers on the market that were cheaper than this that flipped better at the time. Like the the Bradley Chimera uh, was like, you know, 120 bucks or something. And this thing's 289 and there's stuff on this that you, there's stuff on the Chimera, stuff on the Alpha Beast, stuff on the Replicant, which I don't have one up here, um, that you can do that you can't do with this, like chaplaining. But for the most part, I mean, as long as you don't give a shit about chaplaining, which is fucking like, oh my God, it's one fucking move. I mean, you can get away with it like two or three rotations. See how that just fucking flew open? But, um, it's, it's, it's a very pleasing knife to flip. I love the way this thing sounds. I love the fucking design of those handles. Very easy to manipulate. Very easy to get your fingers in there and get a decent grip. You know? It's just, it's a really, really nice knife. And I intend on keeping this in fucking mint condition. I don't intend on using this. It's just a really pretty knife. I, you know... But my, the biggest thing that I love about it is obviously the sound it makes. It just, it, it's just got this fucking assassin sound to it. You know, like this thing has a different clack. You know, so it, it's just mesmerizing when you, when, when you're, God damn it. When you're flipping this thing. And just to listen to the sound of it, it just sounds very professional. Um, it just has a sweet feel to it. But yeah, and it's really pretty to look at while you're flipping too. But I kind of wish they didn't bead blast. Um, 
because if it was polished, that would look really pretty. But if they did that, then they'd have to polish all the hardware, so I kind of get it. You know, Microtech's very uh, expensive. So, uh, the other off-putting thing about this is their proprietary tool, which came with every one of their knives, from my understanding. Um, and that's just because they don't want you to be able to go into a fucking Ace Hardware and buy yourself a torque set, you know, if you need to take your knife apart. But Microtech does that proprietary stuff with a lot of their knives because they want you to send it back into them. They don't want you fucking with their stuff. You know what I mean? That's how people lose their bearings. That's how fucking washers get lost. Stuff like that. They'd rather you just send it into them. And that's how they, you know, would continue to make another profit. But uh, let me take a drink. Wow, it's just so smooth. It's delicious. Better than candy. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, guys, this is my uh, uh, opinions on the Microtech Tachyon 3. I'm just going to put it up as a review. Quote, unquote. Um, this could be, uh, as far as performance, um, I believe the goal that they were aiming for was a speed flipper. And the reason why I say that is because just how... Sorry. How light the knife is. And how easily you can control it. Like it's square on the back so it doesn't roll when you're twirling it. And there's the... You can put your fingers in these little divots to help whenever you're twirling to help it from sliding down too much. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. I've got that, you know... And I and I and when I'm twirling, I'm staying right there in that region. When you do it with the bare bones, a heavier knife. Um, you son of a bitch. When you do it with the bare bones, which I love to flip. It's it's skinny, and this one's actually rolled. It's not squared, but it's very difficult. To control this while it's in between your fingers because of one how heavy it is and two how skinny it is so a lot of times when you're twirling it'll fucking roll like this and you'll be like shit and then it'll fuck you up but you know this this has different aesthetic properties to it that I enjoy this has phenomenal flil uh, flipping properties to it that I enjoy and this is more of like an aesthetic, well, I, this is more of a piece of art to me. Uh, this is one man's psychotic design of what a fucking felony should be. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love the Tachyon 3. Like I said, I've owned one before. I had it for about a year before I sold it. Um, and I regretted selling it. I mean, I, I never, I hardly fucking used the thing because I had way better flippers. I had a Thai Basilisk. I had a G10 Basilisk. I had the Carbon Fiber Basilisk. I had two replicants. I had, you know, fucking uh, Alpha Beast 3.0 and Alpha Beast Infinity. Uh, Bare Bones version 1, Bare Bones version 2. I mean, I, I had other knives that I could flip, so I never really flipped it. And knives that, uh, I found that knives that sit around that you don't use are the first ones you sell whenever you need money. So, at the time, I think it was around Christmas time, I was broke as fuck. And, you know, I just, I spent a little bit too much on presents and, you know, I needed to make sure I could take care of my bills. Uh, retail... These things sold for around $289 um, if you bought them on Blade HQ and Knife Center. Um, now the retail, like secondary market, depending on which one you have, you can expect to pay uh, for used condition anywhere between $180 and $210. In mint condition, 
I've seen as low as 235 and as high as 300. It just depends on the buyer and how much they're willing to spend on it. So, um, and that's just the production models. I'm not talking about the titanium ones. Uh, the titanium ones sell for much, much more. But, um, it's a beautiful knife. I love it. And I uh, thought I'd make a little review for you guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love those fucking teeth. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Focus, you piece of shit. Fucking teeth are just sharper than fuck. I mean, can you just imagine wrapping that thing around somebody's fucking neck or wrist? I mean, dude, it would go through like nothing. That's sharp as fuck, dude. That's a piece of dirt there. But I mean, dude, like if you were to like poke that in, you wouldn't even feel that. And this is fucking obnoxious. Obnoxious. Microtech makes a beautiful knife, guys. Beautiful knife. But, alright guys, that's my review on the Microtech Tachyon 3. And, uh, we'll see you all soon. Peace.